Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah and this is Bee Fly Beauty. And today we're gonna do a quick, simple video for a Halloween look for a porcelain doll. And I'm not sure which video is going up first, but the goal is to give you just a basic skeleton, <laughs> skeleton, on these looks that you can build on yourself. So if you wanna do a broken porcelain doll, you can add the cracks. If you wanna add glitter, you can add glitter. Uh, if you wanna change the color, you can change the color. Um, if you want the freckles, not want the freckles, things like that. So I'm giving you just the basics to get the simplest look for this particular costume. Um, I just rubbed my skin raw. Did not get everything off my eyes. I also had a suggestion to do like good skincare after Halloween makeup and I think that's awesome. So I might do that as well. Just a quick rundown of products and what you can do. So um, I'm gonna start with my cake makeup. This is the Color Cake Foundation in White by Ben Nye. I think that's good enough for now. And then I'm gonna take that Cody Airspun and set everything, even though this dry, you could work right on top of that once it dries. It's pretty. All right, I'm gonna contour just a little bit. Whew, too much powder. With this BH Studio Pro, most of this looks more like bronzer to me, but I'm gonna use this one and it works pretty good for a contour. So it could be kind of messy, right? But the goal is you're coming under here to create a little loop. And then we're gonna go in and go ham, not jerky, on our cheek color. So I think I'm gonna go pinky. So I'm gonna pick probably that one or mix with that. Let's see what we can do here. And it can be rounded. This is like how you're told not to do your blush. You can put that right here on that little circle you created. So subtle. I guess you could do this with, um, you know, your skin tone and not white. Um, there's a lot you could do with this. You could even do the, the doll where, the, you know, it has the, the marionette, which I already have, which that's the kind of doll I should be doing since my skin is already like that. Oh, this was the uh, Coastal Scents palette, but any bright blush will do. You don't have to go um, expensive. And then you're gonna just blend those two together. Blend it back a little bit. Look a little cray right now, hmm? Little cray. All right, so I'm gonna use a pencil on my brows here. I guess I'll use this black one. It's gonna use a dark brown, but a black will be fine. So I'm gonna just make them a little rounder and use the eyebrow that is there already, but just kind of Go above it or below it, whatever your brow is like. I have low brows, so I'm gonna go above mine and just make a little arch. Like an upside down smile face. I don't know why my country voice comes out when I do stuff like this. Looking very clown-like. All right, so what you need to do on the eyes is you need to create a lower 
um, eye bag. And so you're gonna take a white eyeliner, white, um, the white uh, thing, what is it? Eyeliner in Milk by NYX, but this is one by Wet n Wild. Um, and so I'm gonna come under here and on my inner rim. To create this new eye bag so it looks like my eye is bigger. Creating that new eye bag and I'm going in the corner to connect it. And this size, this little jumbo pencil kind of fits perfectly into where my eye socket is so I just kind of go down into it and let that create the shape. And then again on the inner rim. Then I'm gonna take a neutral pencil. I guess you do not have to do this. This is not required. And I'm just gonna create a little bit of a shadow underneath that with this um, skin tone color, my skin tone color. So it would have to be your skin tone color to create kind of a shadow right there. And then I'm gonna put um, actual shadow there to kind of blend it out so it looks like that's the new bottom of our eye and this is another color pop shadow so I'm gonna go back to using that BH cosmetics pro and I'm gonna use one of these light tones here to kind of go underneath that eye bag Probably should use a smaller brush. That one's hard. All right, eh, we'll see. So we're creating a little shadow. Oh, that must have had some black on it. Great. Created a shadow, I guess. <laughs> so just creating that new line. That and then that is where your liner is gonna go for your bottom lashes. So now you're going to do some freckles. I think I'm gonna put my black wig on, do some ponytails. You can use a liquid liner for this or a regular pencil, I'm sure will be fine. I think the freckles make, make it kind of awesome. Now I'm gonna do some mascara on the top and then I would also do um, some big, big lashes. I'm gonna do just a tiny bit of liner on the top and then a little bit of a contour in the... So just a little bit of a liner and then I'm gonna take that same brown that I contoured my face with and put it in the contour of my eye just a very subtle contour. So we have a line on the top. I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush in the same contouring color right here, right in the crease. A little definition. Mascara, lashes, draw some lashes at the bottom, and then the lips, we're gonna redraw a little smaller. This would look way, way better with huge lashes right there. Um, 
Okay, we're gonna draw on our new lip here. This is the Jordana Easy Liner for Lips in Sedona Red. I'm scared to draw on some lines, but I'm gonna do it. So you could do lashes here. I think that would look better than drawing them on and then big lashes here. I'm gonna go put on my wig and uh, take some pictures. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.